Now, the law is very strict on the disclosure. The law does not recognize disclosures that you make in the public domain. Law recognizes disclosures you make by way of an application. So that's the default way for you to make a disclosure. You have to make the disclosure by way of a provisional or a complete. There are certain cases, we will see it in section 29, 30, 31, where some disclosures may not kill your novelty. Or in other words, some disclosures may not amount to anticipation. Now, we will see some of this. It's already there in section 30 and uh, 29. Certain disclosures will not kill priority. And those disclosures will help you to extend the priority of your invention. So if you made a, a disclosure of your invention before a learned society, the section 30 talks about transactions of a learned society and the Indian government recognizes that as a transaction of the learned society. And within one year, you follow it up with a application, a provisional or a complete. You say a complete, you file a complete. Now your disclosure starts the day on which you made a disclosure before the learned society. So your disclosure starts from that. So your priority will also start from that. So that is why they refer to the priority can be proved by a priority document and a priority document will be the document on which you made the first disclosure. As a rule, disclosure can only be made by way of an application. Uh, a, a complete specification or a provisional specification, but there are certain instances where you will be able to rely on the disclosure through other means.